Okay, hi, uh, this is going to be a simple tutorial on creating an IK system on the LAMP. So, uh, first thing, if you want to create an IK under, create, you need to create a join first. So, go to the rigging section category and under the skeleton, create joints. And let's start from the bottom here. And by the way, maybe it might be better to create match up exactly the center of the sphere here so select the sphere control a and uh, on the first tab here there's going to be display display handler and the same thing goes for this one display handler and this one too okay turn on the display handler so that i can snap it to the center of the sphere here okay once you do that create a joint skeleton create joints and zoom in to take a look and just snap it to the center of the uh, of the of the sphere okay and move here hit v on your keyboard and left mouse to snap it to the center of those spheres okay V, hold down the V, left mouse, snap it. And go to the right view and finally create another one. This doesn't have to be correct. I mean accurately correct. You can just just go to the direction where the lamp is facing at and hit enter F after you finish your join. Hit enter to finalize your join. And now you have joints that is created underneath the geometry. And by the way, if you hit uh, 5 on your keyboard, there might be some chance that you cannot see through the uh, joint here. Uh, so what you have to do here is you have to click this X-ray joint icon so that you can see uh, underneath the polygon, the joints underneath the polygon. Okay, once you have created that, make sure that this middle section is maybe bend it in this direction if you your joint is bended in this direction uh it might have some uh trouble with uh when you set up the ik handler it's going to bend in this direction instead of this way so make sure that it is straight or bend it slightly to this direction if you are if your joints are straight what you have to do is you have to rotate in one of the direction that you want to prefer to bend and then right mouse and then set click this set to preferred angle and then set this rotation back to zero and it's going to be uh, set it to uh, rotate in that direction so next thing what you have to do is we have to create an IK handler so under the skeleton uh, IK handler go to the option there are two uh, solver you can use single chain is more simpler but uh, there are sometimes when you try to rotate the head of the lamp, it might have some affected rotation or uh, translation on the on the body part. So uh, I prefer to use the rotate plane server. It has it. We have to create an extra controller for this one, but still it it works fine. So select that. Select the first joint. Shift select the last joint. Uh, the head joint here, and then uh, I can there is created it. So once that is created, why don't you just check it out? Just move it down and see if it bends to the direction how you want. Once you do that, next thing, why don't we just combine those geometry with the joint here? So select all the geometry here on the head area and shift select the joint here, which is going to be the head joint. And under the skin, there is going to be bind skin go to the option and if you set it as a reset setting it's going to be set as joint hierarchy I don't want to set it as a joint hierarchy I want to set it as whatever I selected so change it to selected joint and hit apply that means that the joint geometry that I selected and the joint is going uh, the geometry is going to be binded with the only joint that I selected the same thing happens with this part here select the joint select those two geometry here which is going to be stick with this joint hit apply 
and even for the bottom part here in of time and uh, uh, what, let's do one more thing here create another extra join for just to rotate the base of the lamp here so once you create one join here just set this to zero which is going to be at the at the center of the, the bottom grid here and bind th that with uh, the joint here that I just created. Select the base of the polygon here, select the joint here, do the same thing, bind skin option, hit apply and you can close it now. So uh, once you do that, double check if that works, it works fine. So uh, what I'm going to do here is Next thing, what I have to do here is I have to create controllers. So, just I'm going to use this one here. Uh, click this one, name it as uh, master controller, group it, control G, and uh, hit F9 to scale it bigger so that I can take I can see the controllers. And this is going to be my master control D again. And this is going to be my base, which is going to be uh, the base movement of the lamp here. And duplicate this again. Next one, I'm going to make this as a... Uh, yeah, actually I need an extra controller if I use the IK server. So I'm going to make this as a pull vector vector controller and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my group here snap it to the center of it might be hard to snap it because of the polygon so I, I just hide my polygon for a second here and just snap it to the center of the joint here and move it shift it backwards I'm going to scale it down more Okay, so next, duplicate this controller and this next joint is going to be my head controller. So I'm, I'm going to name this as my head. So I think I have most of the controllers set here. So uh, next thing what I have to do is I have to, whenever I move my controller, I have to move, it have to be moved together with the joint. So first thing here, I have to parent my IK handler to this controller hit P so whenever I move my controller here I can move my upper part of my lamp and by the way I cannot rotate I mean it rotates in one direction but it's not going to rotate as I expect like up and down here so what I have to do here is there is a lot of uh, ways you can uh, connect them together but the simply simplest way here is select my controller shift select my joint the joint of my head and under the constraint menu there is going to be a uh, orient constraint go to that option make sure that maintain offset it turn on and hit that so once you do that you can uh, rotate my the head of uh, this lamp here next when I move this I want this part the middle section to be pointing uh, to the, the controller on the back. So what I'm going to do here is select my controller here, the pull vector controller, and select the IK, uh, control select the IK handler from the outliner, and then uh, under the constraint, I'm going to do uh, use a pull vector for that. So once I do that, when I move this down, and when I start moving this left and right, the back part is going to move with the controller here and for this one maybe I'll just parent all my join to the bottom controller here so that when I move my bottom it's going to move with my bottom controller and finally all my groups of each of the controller here have to be parented to my master controller so now I have my uh, IK lamp ready to be animated.